Hey guys, Trevor here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to fix contacts not showing on WhatsApp. Now, the first thing that I would recommend doing is heading into the settings app on your iPhone or Android, and we're gonna make sure you've allowed permissions for those contacts. So let's scroll down to the bottom and tap on apps at the very bottom. After you've done that, let's just scroll down to the very bottom again, because we're gonna find the WhatsApp app. There it is. And the first thing, and this seems obvious, but just tap on contacts here and make sure it has full access. If this is set to none, just switch it to full access and hit allow full access. But this doesn't always fix the problem. You can check WhatsApp at that point to see if it has access. If it doesn't, the next thing I would recommend doing is opening up the contacts app on your iPhone or Android and making sure all of your contacts are currently synced up. There could be an issue with your contacts not being on your phone. And if you find that all of the contacts are not on the phone, you can always go back to your settings. Let's go back to the very beginning of your settings here. So go to the very beginning and you can tap on your name at the very top. Now from here, you'll be able to see midway down is iCloud. Let's just tap on that and make sure that all of your contacts are synced up with iCloud. So next to Save to iCloud, let's hit See All here. And now you can see contacts here. Of course, if this is turned off, it won't sync up all those contacts and you might find that all of your contacts through Gmail, through iCloud, et cetera, are not being downloaded onto your phone and then sent over to WhatsApp. Now, after you've gone through all of these steps and it's still not working, the next thing I would recommend doing is go back to the very beginning of your settings because potentially screen time is an issue. So from the beginning of your settings, let's scroll down and you'll be able to see screen time towards the bottom here. So just tap on that. And now we'll scroll down and you can see content and privacy restrictions. Let's just tap on that. Now from here, you can see midway down, it has contacts. If you tap on that and it's set to don't allow changes or for WhatsApp, it's set to none here. It could restrict it through screen time, even though you've allowed it in the other section of your settings. So make sure you set this to full access. And on here, you can always hit the allow changes or if you wanted to just be sure, just completely toggle off content and privacy restrictions. You don't necessarily need that unless you want to restrict your device. Now, after you've done all that, let's open the WhatsApp app again and see if it works at this point. If it still doesn't work, the basically for sure way to get it to work is to delete the app entirely and reinstall the app from the App Store or Google Play Store. However, before you do that, it's really important to tap on settings at the bottom right. And now you can see storage and data midway down. Let's tap on that and make sure everything is downloaded and backed up. So tap on manage storage at the very top. You'll be able to see how much storage is being used by your account. You can see 187 gigabytes. If you have enough space, I would highly recommend backing everything up. So let's go back out of here. And from here, you're gonna tap on account. Uh, where is it? Account, maybe it's under chats here. And there it is, chat backup. And then just hit the backup now. Go through the process of backing up your entire account and then go through and physically tap and hold and hit remove app, delete the app and reinstall it. And it'll ask you to sync up contacts at that point. 